So recently I was playing around with the good and the bad of using Bazite, which is a Linux distribution that happens to have SteamOS baked into it. Uh, we did find out that Bazite itself is pretty decent, and depending on which distribution you are trying to use, you get uh, good or better results. Well, we'll just say that. Uh, the first distribution I tried to use did, did not have Steam quite integrated I don't guess you would say correctly or at that well, and I had some problems. I had some issues with it. So I had, it was a 6500, I believe it was um, an Intel i5 6500, and I put an RX 6400 with it because nope, you don't need external power, and I was looking for something, uh, a small form factor, something that I could get up and running. Well, um, the SteamOS AMD build um, worked. It worked actually pretty well, and it actually played some games or did some benchmarks that Windows 10 or 11 would not run, and I was uh, I was marginally pleased with that. Today we're going to do something a little different. Now, by a little different, I mean a little different. Uh, one of the drawbacks to Bazite and SteamOS is because you have integrations with a lot of AMD hardware, it doesn't play that well with NVIDIA. But uh, we have a couple tools that might help us. Bazite installation for NVIDIA and an RTX 3050. You guys were really, really bad mouthing this thing, but it might work out pretty well, especially if we're going to put it in that rig right there. Yeah, it's only got like a 200 watt power supply. Yeah, we need to figure out something better, right? Uh, no, no, that one right there, that's where we're working on a server, uh, upgraded server. Anyway. This, plus this, plus that. We'll see if it's any better. Now, doing this implementation already comes with a, a, a couple of problems built in. Uh, first of all, Bazai's website tells you that you might have problems with an NVIDIA graphics card because it's not really set up that way. Uh, things like the Steam Deck and all that and consoles are set up with AMD graphics, and so it does work a little bit more seamlessly. Uh, I, there were some good and bad, some hitches we'll get to in a little bit, but... Um, the other thing was because I don't have a very powerful power supply in there, it's only like 180 watts, I did have to use a lower power graphics card, hence the reason for the 3050. Now, surprisingly, it worked fairly well. Um, I'm spoiler alert, uh, I ran all these games on Windows and I ran all these games on Bazite to compare the two and see how they both did. The Bazite installation actually went fairly easily. I went ahead and, and used the USB that I showed before and um, it chose my language, you know, and all that good stuff, and it set it up and relatively easy to set up. Now, there were a couple of hitches. Uh, some of these were that I could not, I could not quite get the um, the display the overlay to show up like I wanted to and I tried several different things and and it just didn't want to show up like it was supposed to I tried what they call big screen mode and um, and I even tried game mode and when I tried game mode which was the little icon on the top left hand side of the screen uh, things would go completely weird and it would just kick out on me so finally at one point um, after resetting the machine it came up in game mode and I could turn that off and switch back to regular desktop mode, which was interesting. Uh, but after that, I realized that I could then choose the overlay, and it worked fine in game mode. Uh, still did not work in, I guess, big picture mode or whatever you want to call it, big game mode or big picture mode, but that was okay. Uh, there were some other things if you went if I went to play around with the settings at all um, for instance I was playing around to see if Borderlands 3 uh, if I could change it from DX11 to DX12 and it crashed uh, yeah it wasn't having any of that so I had to go back and go through this long drawn out uh, I could not find the actual INI file that had that in there so I had to uninstall it and reinstall it no big deal I mean I'm sure that I would have been able to find the configuration file if I would looked for it it's a lot easier to find on Windows but I did end up uh, getting it to run and um, most of these games ran pretty well the one that did not was Black Myth Wukong just wouldn't do it. It wasn't interested in running, didn't have any, no, it just wasn't going to happen. So I threw that one out. Uh, I, I did go ahead and run it on Windows, but I tossed that result out and figured, you know what, we're just, we're, we're just not going to show it. So that game wasn't able to run at all on Bazite, which was a little bit weird, but I do have 
I'm not going to say mixed results because as we go through these, overall, you're going to see sort of a pattern. There's one or two little hitches in here, but for the most part, we're going to see an overwhelming pattern, not like we saw with the AMD. The AMD version actually did a little bit better with Bazite than it did with Windows. This was the other way around. And I ran both of those on Windows 10. So there wasn't a, a difference between version, you know, Windows 10 and Windows 11 or anything like that. I ran both Windows 10 against Bazite. One was the Steam build with the AMD. And this one, this one in particular was the NVIDIA build. Now, don't get me wrong. It wasn't bad. The games looked pretty decent. Uh, I was pretty happy with most everything that ran. But let's, let's go ahead and take a look at these a little bit here. So Shadow of the Tomb Raider, when we look at it, we, we definitely see a little bit of an edging out with the windows. And you can see that they're reasonably close. It's not so bad, but I mean, it's still playable. Uh, but I was surprised to see a little bit that this was the first one out. And I thought, OK, well, maybe maybe we'll have a little bit of back and forth or uh, I, I don't think I was quite expecting it to be very similar to say Borderlands. <laughs> uh, Borderlands 3, pretty much the same story, just a little bit better on the Windows implementation. It just, not a whole lot, but just a little bit. And that carried further. Uh, again, we're, we're looking at, at Cyberpunk, and again, we have just a little bit of an eking out. And not by, not by very much. I'm a handful of frames, but still, we have just a little bit better performance on the Windows 10 side of things than we do on the Bazite side. Uh, not to say that Bazite was unplayable. It was very playable with all three of these games. Now, when we got to CS2, there was a pretty big difference. Uh, the gameplay wasn't bad, but it was a noticeable difference, and I... Uh, it, it, there was just something that didn't feel quite right. Uh, I didn't have a whole lot of problem playing, and of course I did the benchmark and I played through, but uh, there wasn't that much of a problem playing, and I did pretty well on both as far as just, you know, the overall gameplay, but there was just, it, it felt maybe, I don't know, maybe a little more laggy, maybe uh, that's not maybe quite the reaction or quite the thing I'm, I'm thinking, but it just, it just wasn't quite the same. I didn't feel like I had as much control or... Uh, it was as responsive. Maybe being a little bit more laggy is better uh, the way to describe it. But that was just a little bit worse, well, a whole lot worse on the Bazite than it was on Windows. Uh, still playable, I just didn't prefer it on the, the Bazite version. I already mentioned that Black Myth Wukong would not run at all on the uh, Bazite version. What did surprise me is uh, just running 1080p high uh, got us about 60 frames per second. So that was a big surprise out of Windows. Uh, I was really surprised about that. I was not surprised with Monster Hunter Wilds. And, and that ended up, again, we're right back to, to where we were, just a few frames different when we're trying to run the Bazite version to the Windows 10 version. Uh, is this a deal breaker? No, I thought it was okay. Uh, the one bright spot and the one weird thing that I noticed is trying to run my one of my, my, one of my favorite games, No Man's Sky, actually performed much, much better on the Bazite version uh, than it did with the Windows version. Now, we're, we're really only talking on either side of 60 frames per second. Uh, but overall, the averages I was getting um, when I was running with No Man's Sky it was between probably about 55 and 70 frames per second when I was doing that, uh, playing the Bazite. Uh, I didn't have a benchmark tool to go by. All I could do was go by the, the frames. And when I was watching, it was between like 55 and, and say 70 frames per second. Uh, and, and when I was doing an actual benchmark run and trying to evaluate the same way, I was getting probably between about 43 and probably about 55 uh, when I was doing Windows. So it was much lower on Windows overall. And uh, when I did look at the numbers for the benchmark, for No Man's Sky and Windows 10 using MSI Afterburner, it did show that it was a, a bigger difference. So, um, yeah, it wasn't my imagination. I did think it was a little bit... Now, it did not feel as laggy as CS2 did, but it was it, it was less, uh, and it was noticeably less. I made the same run. I have a couple of different settlements. I just went to each one and did pretty much the same thing at each one, and I was counting that way. So it was an equal sort of path that I was taking to be able to evaluate this with. Uh, do I think this is a bad idea to start converting over to Linux into Bazite? 
No, I, I think it works pretty well, actually. Um, the, overall, it works well. I mean, let's face it, when we're looking at, at something like Borderlands and, and 1080p low is getting you know, around 80 frames per second, that's not too bad. You can't, that's, that's not a horrible result at all. Um, and around the same thing uh, for you know, things like Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and even, even Cyberpunk was doing pretty decent. So, I, I mean, I can't, when, when you're getting unbelievable i'm not gonna say unbelievably but when these three titles are pretty close to the same frame rate um in in 1080p then it, it tells you two things it tells you that your hardware is pretty consistent it also tells you that these games are pretty well optimized for the hardware that you've got i mean it's a 7700 it's been around for a while the i7 7700 and the let's face it the rtx 3050 is not that hard to run uh, and it's not that hard to to, to optimize for uh, the the 3000 series uh, RTX 3000 series has been out for a little while and, and the drivers for that are pretty stable so to get these kind of results uh, yeah I'm not I'm not really surprised I I don't even think I'm surprised that Bazite was just a little bit worse than Windows 10 um, you're you're going to lose just a little bit but I don't think you're losing a whole lot if you switch over but the the big thing I was impressed with is this did install very easily and except for one or two little things like the uh, the thing with the overlay and and uh with Black Moose Wukong not working at all uh, I think other than that um this this worked out pretty well so uh, as far as having any hesitation using Nvidia as opposed to AMD I don't think we should have any. Uh, this I, I have not tried this on Intel. I don't know if I will. I think the results for AMD and for NVIDIA kind of speak for themselves, and I think we're pretty successful there. But, um, yeah, overall, this is, this is pretty decent. I can see more and more people switching over to a Linux distribution. And, in, in fact, I might, now that we know Bazite, who, which is sort of the, the, uh, uh, sort of the Steam version uh, we know that this works. I'll, I'll probably one off and I'll probably do something in a, another video. Well, I might not do a video, but I'll try at least on my own uh, another version of Linux or one or two other versions of Linux to see how they work with game, uh, you know, with gaming. Uh, I'm, I'm sure that Pop Linux or something like that will, will work really, really well. But um, yeah, overall, I was, I, I, I don't know if impressed is the word. I was satisfied. I, I thought it worked out pretty well. I was pretty happy with it. So that's sort of a long way around, I guess you could say, of, of describing how my experience with it. Uh, uh, overall, it was pretty positive. And I think uh, if, if you're going to switch over or be con considering switching over because you, you don't feel like giving your account, your Microsoft, your, your information to switch over to Windows 11, and you're just you're dead set against uh, doing that and you want to switch over and try to give a, a gaming experience to Linux a chance, um, yeah, this implementation is fine. I think it'll work out pretty well. I, I probably will. Uh, I don't know if I've mentioned or not. I probably will try this with another Linux distro just to see how things work out and how they go. I don't know if I'll make a video about that unless it's groundbreaking. But uh, in the meantime, yeah, those are the results I got. I was pretty pretty happy overall. I was a little bit more surprised, I guess, that, that it worked as well as it did with NVIDIA. Uh, you're getting just a little bit less performance with NVIDIA than Windows 10, whereas the other way around, uh, AMD was just a little bit better performance than Windows 10. But I don't think it makes a whole lot of difference. You're getting pretty good performance overall, and it's relatively, it's pretty consistent with both of them. So I don't think, I don't think you're going to lose much. I don't, I don't think it's anything to, to really be upset about or you know cry over spilled milk type thing about you know. So, but anyway, that those are my findings. Those are my thoughts. Um, if you got anything out of the video, go ahead and throw a like on it if you don't mind. If you're not already subscribed, please do. That'd be amazing and I'm very much appreciated and, and certainly welcome. Uh, but uh, yeah, don't forget to visit the other socials. And if you don't do any of those things, if you don't like or subscribe or visit the socials or anything like that, just do me one favor. And that's be good to each other. Just be kind. Doesn't cost anything to be nice. Doesn't cost anything to say good morning or hi or wave or hold a door open. And you never know when uh, you might make somebody's day. You might make your day things might be just a little bit better. And if we all did that once in a while, if we all just said hi to each other or all just held the door open once in a while, it'd be a little bit better place, wouldn't it? Anyway, um, like I said, that is all I got for this time around. I've still got stuff working. Yeah, I'm working with Proxmox and trying to set some things up with Home Assistant and all that. 
that's been its own fun. <laughs> but but that will be coming up and that's been uh that's been an adventure let's just let's just say that it's been an adventure but until i get myself into something i got no business getting into i'll see you later